Hey, what's up guys? It's DJ. Welcome back to Go Ham Gear. Today we're going to be talking about microphones again. Happy Monday to you, by the way. We're going to be talking about this microphone, body pack, and a new microphone that I picked up. This is the Sennheiser, I don't even remember what I got, MKE 600. This is a shotgun microphone, meaning that it is meant to be placed kind of above your head, off to the side, somewhere out of frame, so that you don't see the microphone. Not only will it do that, it also allows me to kind of move around the table much, much easier. And plugs in just like this one, just with a microphone cable, XLR cable. This, though these types of microphones are cool, I sometimes, well, you have to put it on. It's got batteries, it is wireless as well. Um, in this room, I don't know what it is, but it sounds a little scratchy, uh, which is not phenomenal by any means. We've used this for a couple uh, videos. What this is, is a lapel microphone. Well, I've been using it again. Basically, you take this, clip it on somewhere right here, um, and it will pick up the audio signal that's closest to it, meaning that it picks me up and picked me up just fine. However, we have a guest coming to the studio this weekend to talk about cameras, which you guys may or may not have already seen those videos. And so I was like, you know what? We need a microphone that's gonna be a little bit better. I don't have two of these, so I can't just like set a couple microphones on the table. They kind of get in the way, that kind of thing. Plus, I already have an overhead camera rig right here. It's like right out of frame, it's right there. So I was like, you know what? I can hang this and just run the cord over and be done. And that's exactly what we're gonna do. So let's get this bad boy unboxed again. We've got the MK600 shotgun microphone. It is shown off right here on the package uh, on a camera, but we're not gonna be using it like that. We're actually gonna be using it with the included clip right here. So let's open it up and let's take a look and see kind of what we have. This is my first shotgun microphone. I've actually never had a shotgun microphone before. So I'm really excited about this. It comes with a really nice carrying pouch, which I'm, I mean, Sennheiser microphones better come in a nice microphone pouch. We decided not to go with the, was it the 416, something like that, uh, which is a extremely popular microphone that, that Sennheiser has. A lot of people use it, um, but I don't plan on using it. So here we are. We have our clip, which is perfect for what we're gonna be using today. We have a windscreen, which may or may not use, depending. It's kind of nice, isn't it? And then we have the microphone itself. We better have a cord in here as well. Uh, this is extremely, very, very durable. Um, all metal uh, enclosure right here. Uh, I know you open it up somehow. So the battery's inside. This is neat because microphones like this, they need phantom power. This doesn't need phantom power. However, the preamp for it does. Uh, what this does is it just activates the microphone. Some are dynamic, like the SM50 or the SM7B that we're using here. However, some microphones like this one are active microphones. So they need power. This is a condenser microphone. So it's going to use that. You can put a battery in there or you could use phantom power, which is what we're going to be using. Let's go ahead and do that. There we go. And you can even turn it on and off with the battery. Um, it should activate itself without the battery. And then we also have a clip right here, which will change the, uh, was it the high pass, low cut, something like that. Um, that'll do that there. We also have the XLR cable right here. Now, speaking of XLR cable, we should actually like have an XLR cable, but I don't see that anywhere. It should have been right here. Uh, let's see, let's take a look, see what it comes with. Um, regular amount of housing. I'm not 100% sure if it's supposed to come with this or not. I wanted it to. To be fair, I have cords like that already. I don't need another one. But I, so if it's supposed to come with it, I want it. There you go. So that's what the microphone looks like there. Uh, again, well, I might. Uh, if you've seen uh, PewDiePie, he actually uses something similar to this uh, from the side. And he does not use this. So he goes straight in from the side. Really cool setup here. Really cool setup, man. Um... Let's get it hooked up. Well, it's not the best location. You probably can't even hear me that well, but all we need is our clip, the microphone, and a cable that's over there. Let's get this thing put up. I already have a clamp up here, so that's what we're gonna leave for now. Also, you can probably see the rig that we have for the overhead camera. This rig right here is, is kinda out of stock right now on Amazon, so I ordered a shorter one. Uh, it'll come down to about right here. This microphone, as it stands right now, will come to about here, and that's okay, but I've got this much room right here. So I just got an extension, same thing, it's a small rig is what it's called. I make it pretty good stuff, it's on Amazon. Um, and so we're just gonna bring this 
down just a little bit. That's all the new rig's gonna do, but unfortunately, that's gonna be in the same day that this video is coming out. So I'll give you guys an updated tour of this eventually. Once that comes in, it's gonna be a few days. So here we go, let's just take this. We're gonna screw it right into our piece here. And that's good. It's gonna hang out just a little bit. There's something to this where it doesn't spin quite the way I want it to, nor is it on there quite the way I want it to, but it's either go sideways or straight up and down and just don't touch it. So that's the way we're gonna do it. Then let's take this, let's push it up into here. Oh boy, that's a devil. There we go. Mm, yeah. All right, so there's about like that. You can see from our main camera the where it normally is, it needs to come to about to here. So we need to get as close as we can. Still gonna work fine, but you know, you know how it is. <laughs> Let's get our XLR cable. This is just a standard uh, Mogami Gold XLR cable. There's nothing fancy about this. Industry standard stuff right now. Let's get this put about right here. Fill for the pins. There we go, there's that. And then this will kind of adjust to where the microphone sits. So we do need to be careful with this. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take off some of this Velcro and hopefully we can get this microphone just right where to point kind of straight down. Now, one of the things that I wanted to be careful with this setup was, or say be careful, but one of the things I was excited about with this setup is I mentioned before with the pickup mic, with the lavalier microphone, that microphone, though it's great, um, industry standard stuff, I mean, it's phenomenal, but it does, man, it's not what I want. Um, it only picks me up this. I can have somebody sitting here, somebody sitting here, and it'll pick both of us up fairly decently. I do plan on getting another one of these and having like one here and one here, maybe point it in, but for now, one microphone will do the trick. All right, moment of truth. Let's go from here to here. How does this sound? How has it changed? Obviously, you guys can see, I think to about right here. Well, my camera is about that much higher than here. And then the microphone is a much, much larger amount up for there. So we have a lot of room to bring this closer. You probably hear the room just a little bit more. Hopefully it's not too crazy. I do have the compression up quite a bit on this. Compression on vocals, usually pretty good. We'll see if this is where I want that compression or not, but let me know how does this change the sound. Again, we have the Sennheiser M MKE 600. Cool microphone, great microphone. It looks really good up there. This is. It looks real professional. We can make it much, much better, and we will. So make sure you stay tuned for that. But between now and then, that is gonna be it for today. Hope you enjoyed. If you did, make sure you drop a like on it and get subscribed to the channel. If you have any questions, drop those down in the comment section below. So we're gonna be releasing new videos every single day of the week, answering your questions or showing off cool gear, things like that. It's called Go Him Gear after all. So we'll be doing that. All of it said, I hope you have a great day. We'll see you later.